So this ball or this ball, which will be the winner of today, Wilson or Tarmach, two of the best indoor outdoor balls. So on this side, Tarmach BT 900X, it weighs in at around 598 gram and it is the most expensive Tarmach ball, around 55 euro. And this is also the old version, the new version, what they have, there you don't have this gold in there, you know. Greetings to Menta. <laughs> we have always someone here who knows the newest details about balls, which I think is great. And so we go on to the other ball. So and here we have the Wilson Forge Pro, the most expensive one from the Forge series, you know. And it costs around 60 euro, a little bit more than the Tarmac. And the weigh is almost similar. We have it around 590 gram. So and now here we have it. This ball was going up. Uh, win, 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 you know. Really one of the best indoor outdoor balls. But also now the tarmac comes in. Because this ball has beaten the balls from the rankings. We made a ranking video, top 31 basketballs. And then we had almost 30 balls which are complete new but which are not in the rankings and this ball was leveling up again 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 and now only two balls would, would be in front of this ball you know the advanced grip control and the dia 500 axle from the only indoor outdoor balls all above are only indoor balls but now the other ball comes into the game the tarmac bt 900 x this is also an indoor outdoor ball. Now it will be interesting which ball will win today because normally this ball would be one of the best, but now this conquers. I don't know. We have to find this out. Let's do it. So here we are again at the watch court, you know, long time ago because in winter it is closed. They have an ice skating place here and they put away the, the board and the ring. It's complete away. And when it gets warmer, they put it on here. You see it, the watch court. But right now, maybe you see it on the mountains, the snow was coming again. And so here we are at the nice watch court. And here you see why, because everyone can watch you on every building here. And the special thing on this court is we have the roughest asphalt of them all. That is unbelievable, yeah. You see there are a little bit scratches in, it's open. And it's really, really rough. Yeah, these are stones. You see that? These are those stones, sharp. Really, really strange. And the thing here is, what is unbelievable. The street outside, yeah, beside, the asphalt is smoother than the asphalt in there. You know, you will not see it now, but this asphalt is smoother than this one. So, the roughest asphalt of them all. And now we have to test those two indoor outdoor balls. Yeah, the Wilson Forge Pro on asphalt now and also the Tarmac. We will see what happens. Let's start with the Tarmac.
Ding dong, ding dong, hello.
So, jumping test, grip test, Tarmac Wilson. This ball jumps higher, you feel that immediately. We will come to this. Grip test, as always on the channels, they are so deep, you can always hold it. On the panels right now, also a little bit, but here is also sand in, you know, because there is the beach, we have all sand in and that you feel, but you, it's not that slippery because it's such a rough asphalt. Here on the channels, I cannot hold it, because these are not deep channels. On the panels, a little bit better. You know, I feel that you have a little bit grip, but right now also not. Normally a little bit, but grip like this ball wins now. So now final decision, which ball will win? I have a surprise. Both are great. Both are one of the best composite indoor-outdoor balls. And we have to do it always on a day winner, you know. And today we are on asphalt. So, Tarma or Wilson? It is, it is, it is. It is, wait, the tarmac ball. Really the tarmac has won today, but there is, there are a few things what I can tell you right now. Absolutely great ball, yeah, and I wonder always why this is an indoor-outdoor ball. When you have this in your hand, you always think you have a complete indoor ball. The soft feeling of the material, really complete like an indoor ball, yeah, so. But you see right now, there is no scratching, nothing. We have played this ball a lot of times and here is the roughest asphalt what you can get in town. And there is nothing on, so really great. This is an outdoor ball, yeah? That wonders me. And the other ball is also great, you know? It's one of the best outdoor balls what you can get, but we will come also to this. So here, the big, big channels that you have to like the lines, I would say, are not the best. The lines look standard, yeah. They are really nothing special. But the overall feeling, the dribbling, the control when you throw it. But the thing is, it is almost too much on an asphalt court. So when you play this ball, you think, wow, well, I have the NBA ball or really an expensive indoor ball outdoor. That feels not good, you know what I mean? From the feeling, I don't know. When people are watching, they would think, ah, what is he doing with a complete indoor ball there? That's really strange. But at the end of the day, I go by feeling and this ball feels a little bit better than the other ball. Yeah, you have to say this. But I personally would go with the Wilson ball on an asphalt court because that feels more natural to me, you know. But from the playability, with this ball, you are better. Yeah, but it's so strange because you think this is a real indoor ball for asphalt, yeah. But really, really great. And now we come to the other ball. So, the Wilson ball is also still one of the best balls. Now he got a beating. Then that wonders me because I was thinking this ball will also win because especially on asphalt, yeah. But the thing is why it has not won in comparison here, this is more slippery, yeah? You feel that immediately also by the lines. It is a complete nice ball, yeah? The dribbling is nice, all is nice. But the other one has a little bit more control and it jumps a little bit higher. This jumps really low, especially on asphalt, where it normally is an advantage. But uh, at the end, a little bit better is the tarmac ball, yeah? Really, really great, so these two balls are one of the absolute best balls from composite indoor outdoor. Maybe they are both a top three spot what we have, you know. Our champion is the DF500 Axel. Behind is the Spalding Advanced Grip Control. And then this ball come, you know. We will see if this ball can beat the Advanced Grip Control. And then if they beat this ball, then it comes to the best battle of them all from composite indoor outdoor balls against the DF500 excellent then we will see if we have a new champion 
and we make the comparison with the rubber balls yeah and when we have done all this then the new balls enters in there will come a lot of new balls and then we make the same again we play the new balls and then we make the versus video and at the end of the day maybe in summer late summer we have the top 100 balls and believe me there will come in complete calibers you know i will get them all i try my best now i have no possibility but i hope in the next weeks next one two months i can do it i will order the rock you know we need the rock ball absolutely we need the bg 5000 ball absolutely we need the spoiling df model m makes no sense for auto but we need this we have to do this to see what happens we have a few other balls yeah which has to come so i'm very very excited but great great balls both and now i say goodbye until the next time on the other court bye and ciao